as a trader you either belong in one of these two a maker or a taker markets are made up of makers and takers the makers create buying or selling orders that aren't carried out immediately e.g sell bitcoin when the price hits 50k so this creates liquidity meaning it's easier for others to instantly buy or sell btc when the condition is met the people that buy or sell instantly are called takers in other words the takers fill the orders created by the makers hope this helps so maker taker fees how do they differ Many exchanges generate a considerable portion of their revenue by charging trading fees for matching users. This means that anytime you create an order and it is executed, you pay a small amount in fees. But that amount differs from one exchange to another, and it may also vary depending on your trading size and role. So you don't expect someone that his order of 100 USDT got executed to pay the same fee as someone that the order of 10,000 USDT got executed to reduce these fees so most institutions or trading firms actually uses iceberg orders to place their trade to reduce the fees we've made a video on what iceberg orders is go ahead to click it up there now generally makers are offered some kind of rebate as they are adding liquidity to the exchange that is good for business why takers pay higher fees than makers as they don't provide the liquidity that makers do as mentioned the maker taker fee structure depends on the exchange so to sum it up makers are the traders that create orders and wait for them to be filled while takers are the ones that fill someone else's orders the key takeaway here is that market makers are the liquidity providers for exchanges that use a maker taker model the makers are vital to the platform's attractiveness as a trading venue. So to understand maker and taker, so this is my trade history in my gay.io mobile app. So you scroll down, you notice that most of my trades is actually maker. So for each instance, I was paying 0 0.38 cents. Alright, so going down, going down, you notice that there are some sell trades also that is also maker so this is a sell trade and it's also maker so we can decide to go down go down now look at this so this is a taker fee so so depending on the volume will determine if the taker fee is high or low so for the same amount of trades the taker fee should be higher than the maker fee does that make sense Exchanges reward makers with lower fees as they provide liquidity. In contrast, takers make use of this liquidity to easily buy or sell assets, but they often pay a higher fee for this. So when next you are buying or selling your crypto assets, just know that you are either a maker or a taker. Hope you got value in this video. Go ahead to support this channel by smashing the subscribe button. Also like and share this video. In all you do, always do your own due diligence research. Remember, none of what you say is financial advice. Peace out.